Sharing is something that many of us learn as children. It's always interesting to watch a group of kids playing. There's like the one kid that a little bit uh, less anxious to share than the others, doesn't do it automatically, wants to hold on to his stuff. Uh, there's a kid maybe that with some prompting will share, but it's a little bit reluctantly. And then there's the kid that just shares with, with joy and, and uh, derives a great deal of pleasure from uh, being able to share things with the other children. And probably many of us have uh, learned about sharing as children uh, from parents or Sunday school teachers, um, whatever our situation would be. We've, we've learned those principles. Uh, but when we grow up, sometimes uh, not everybody knows that, but when God is present in our lives in so many different ways, uh, disciples want to give back generously. We want to share of our resources. We want to participate in the life of the church and the life of the congregation and the lives of the people in our communities. But what about the people that didn't learn those lessons when they were a kid for whatever reason or have grown up not knowing about those things? I remember a woman named Tammy who came through the doors of a congregation. She'd had a rough life, had a little girl along with her. They were just there to see what it was all about. And I think at some level Tammy wanted to find a better way for herself, but also for this little girl that she was shepherding in her own life. They had their eyes and ears wide open. They were taking it all in. Uh, as we got to know Tammy, we found out uh, what her life had been like as an adult. And uh, she'd been pretty hard living. There was uh, stories of drug and alcohol. She had had abusive relationships, a uh, series of mishaps in life. And was at a place in her life where she really wanted to find a new way. And so she'd come to church looking for that way. And bit by bit, she began to integrate herself into the life of the congregation. And part of that had to do with uh, participating. And she became a participant in every way and would be there most Sundays, uh, come early, offer to help with things, started offering to volunteer, making, uh, making gifts of her time. Uh, and yet we had still not seen uh, a financial gift from her. But part of the... Uh, Part of the approach our congregation took was that we would teach basic Bible principles every week, and part of that was to teach about uh, God's generosity and also our response to that. And I'll never forget the one Sunday when Tammy came in and privately kind of pulled me and our financial officer aside and said that she'd, she'd been thinking uh, she was going to come into some money completely unexpectedly in her life, and uh, she thought she maybe wanted to share some of that with the congregation. Well, we were interested in that, of course, for, for a variety of reasons, one of which was that it showed that she actually had been listening uh, every Sunday as we, as we taught basic Christianity and talked about Jesus and the love that he had for all persons. Uh, but we were also interested in what her, uh, what her participation might be. And so the next Sunday, Tammy came and was beaming with happiness, uh, had the same little girl with her, and uh, pulled, pulled me and the financial officer aside again and said, I, I have something for you. Uh, I'm just delighted to be able to share this with this congregation. And uh, before we really got into what was in her envelope, we, we asked, well, you know, tell, tell a little bit about that, if you would. And she said, well, this has meant the world to me. For one thing, I've been able to expose uh, this little girl that's in my life to church, to nice people that care about others and that exemplify this, this Christ-like love that you talk about every week. But she said, it's, it's also made a difference in my life uh, because I had a hard heart. I'd had some bad things done to me. Uh, maybe I've done a few things I'm not so proud about. Uh, but as I have felt this stirring within me, I have wanted to participate fully in the life of the congregation and experience God's love in my own life. And I'm really, really proud to be able to bring this envelope today. And so we thanked her and uh, you know, invited her to keep on participating in all the ways that she could. So later that morning, uh, we had the opportunity to take a look inside Tammy's envelope. And to our complete amazement, she had donated to our congregation 
that was huge to her. And I was instantly uh, reminded of the, of the story of the widow's mite, where this older woman, uh, without much at all to give, had given really everything she had, but it wasn't much. This was an example of somebody that really didn't have much to give and had given everything. And the smile on her face, the look on her face, as she made that gift, as she shared fully with the congregation from her resources, from her heart, meant the world to her and it made a huge difference in the life of the congregation. Perhaps the moral of the story is that when we do step out in faith with generosity, we can impact people like Tammy and like that little girl who learned about God's love and about a Jesus that cared about her.